Hi, my name is Walter Scott, um, and I'd like to say a few quick words to remember that um, amazing 2011 film, The King's Speech, and the opening scenes where you see a BBC reporter preparing to give this incredible, beautifully crystal clear introduction to the King's Speech in Wembley Stadium, in beautifully polished BBC received pronunciation. And then the irony, perhaps the intended irony, as he hands over to the King, who stammers while he is delivering his speech. Um, and then the rest of the film is, of course, about the run-up ultimately to his eve of war speech and the enormous amount of pressure and preparations that go into ensuring that the speech that the king gives that speech fluently and we know that Winston Churchill was keen that the BBC should get rid of any evidence of the king's um, stammer afterwards um, and of course in those days the neural root cause of stammering was not known and there were all kinds of theories out there about what might cause uh, stammering be it trauma or repressed emotions um, or whatever it uh, was but they were generally fairly negative. Um, the other thing I think is that leadership and good communication in those days was probably recognised a bit more in terms of displaying particular traits and I think that fluency was probably a recognised trait of good leadership. So again, you could understand why presentationally there was this perceived pressure to make the king appear fluent. I think an awful lot has um, changed in the, what, 90 odd years since that happened. I think we recognise good leadership and good communication in a slightly different way. And we recognise the role of empathy and good listening uh, in leadership to a great to a greater extent. And we understand much more about the root cause of stammering. But I think in the workplace, there is probably still this view of, in big handfuls, fluency good, disfluency not good. And I've often wondered why that might still be the case. And I've come to sort of understand it in on two levels, I think. One is on a practical level, in sort of simple neural terms. Over the left ear, you've got the venicus area. And that is responsible for the sort of auditory processing of language and what you're hearing. And it's beginning to form the response that you might give into uh, to what's being said. And of course, when you're listening to stammered speech, it's putting that area of the brain under sort of stammered pressure because you're having to hang, hang with what the speaker is saying. But it becomes a lot less stressful if you're, when your ear becomes attuned to this level of disfluency. And of course, it's a lot easier to process if you're aware of, of stammering and you understand what causes it. But the other level in which I see it is more about the aesthetics, I think, and branding. And that might be personal branding. That might be the brand around a senior leader. Or it might be about the uh, brand of your product or your service. And you can understand why a marketing department might feel pressure to present a, a product or a brand in a way which is aesthetically pleasing and plays into what society sees as being aesthetically um pleasing and therefore you can understand why it would be difficult if somebody say responsible for selling that product was doing it with this fluent speech but of course there are plenty of brands out there which uh, are not trying to create something that's just out of reach and which is uh, unattainable and which is um, uh, something that we're aspiring upwards to be um, there are brands out there which are just playing into normal human standards, human qualities, reflecting who we really are, reflecting mankind. 
um, where I can see there would be more scope um, for finding ways of integrating this fluent speech and just being a bit more honest about what the human voice really is and the many ways in which it can appear and in which it can sound. Before I confuse myself any further, um, I'm going to sign off um, uh, and it'll be interesting to hear again what you think. Goodbye.